today we are going to start learning to write the mei yeluthukal okay mei yeluthukal are the consonants the letters with a dot on the head okay and how many mei yeluthukal are there there are 18 mei yeluthukal in tamil language the first mei yeluthu is called ik what is it called it is called ik so how do you it is called e k if you want to pronounce it in english this is how you pronounce it okay e k e k so how to write it put a straight line put a sleeping line and then you turn it back don't take it till the top take it till here and turn it back okay so once you write this don't forget to keep the dot on the head this is called ik ik this letter is ik okay the next letter we are going to learn for today is ing what is that called ing so this is that letter so let's learn how to write it so so it is going to be called e i n g ing okay so how to write it put a straight line a sleeping line another straight line okay a small bubble a sleeping line and a straight line okay so this letter is called ing can you read this it is i n g ing okay The next letter we are going to learn for today is itch. So this letter is called itch. E itch. How do we learn write it? Put a straight line, a sleeping line and like this. Remember If you complete this, it becomes a ik. Okay, but this is itch, so I'm not completing it. Okay, so this is called itch. Okay, the next letter we are going to learn is inch. What is this letter? It is e n j. Okay. you have to write it like a make a shape like this and this remember what is this thing this was the uir yeltu a okay so if you write the uir yeltu a and then you bump it like this it becomes inch okay don't forget the dot on the head then only it's called inch okay next letter is it this is very easy so how do you write this you just make a straight line and a sleeping line okay and you keep a dot this letter is called e t it okay after this the next letter is yin okay i'm stressing it follow my stress and say it that way okay yin so i'm stressing so i'm putting two ends here so that you don't uh, forget the stress okay the next letter is going to be it okay so how do you write the it so you're going to call it it e t it okay so you put a straight line a sleeping line and then you take it like this turn it like this this is cha right it i mean itch 
Now you're going to rotate it down and bring it like this. So this is it. Okay. The next letter is going to be in. What is it called? The next letter is in. E N D. Ind. How do you write this? Put a straight line. Put a sleeping line. Put another straight line. Then bump it and bring it down like this. And don't forget the dot. This is called Ind. The next letter is going to be Ip. What is the next letter? Ip. So how do we write it? Straight line, sleeping line, straight line. And put a dot. This is called Ip. Okay? The next letter is going to be Im. What is it? It's going to be I, M, Im. How do you write that? A straight line, sleeping line and then bring it like that. Okay? And put a dot on the top. So this is Im. Okay? The next letter is going to be E. What is it? E. So, it's almost a short sound of the letter I. So, I is called E in English, right? So, the same way. Look at me. How do I put? I first make a curve. The second thing is going to be straight, okay? So, E. Right? And the next letter is going to be Yir. What is it? Yir. So, this I am not stressing. So, say without stress. It's Yir. Right? Like this. Straight line. Slanting line. A dot on the top. In some places you can also write the same ear without this. So there are two ways to write it. If you see the book prints it will always be like this. But this is also the right way to write it. Okay. Ear. So learn both the ways because you might come across any one of them. Okay. The next letter is ill. So how do you write that? Make a round. Go up. Come back. This is ill. The next letter is going to be yiv. Don't think they are similar. This doesn't have a curvy bottom. Can you see that? It is straight. So that's the difference between ill and yiv. Okay. So in yiv. You're going to do the same round. You're going to go up same way. But instead of curving it, you're going to go to the side. Straighten and then go up. This is called IV. E -v. IV. The next letter is going to be YIR. What is it? It's actually tricky to pronounce this letter. It is called YIR. When you say the ZH sound, you have to pull your tongue back and say it. Okay? YIR. Okay? It's like a pulling your tongue letter. YIR. Okay? Varai Param. YIR. Okay? This is one of the unique features. It's a unique letter that's available in Tamil. Okay? Other languages don't have this letter. So, this is called year. Okay. 
The next letter is going to be Yil. What is it? Yil. So you make a shape like that, straighten it, come down. This is called Yil. I'm putting two yells so that you understand you to pronounce with the stress, okay? The next letter is going to be year, okay? What is it going to be? Year. And the last letter is going to be in. Okay, so how do we write in? It is going to be e, n, in. So how do we write this? Make one round, another round, straighten down, put a straight line and a dot. Yes, I hope you will practice nicely all the 18 letters. And see you again in the next episode. Bye. Thanks for watching the Joy Express.